Wings are here. Oh, from No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeyes now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're five ninety nine for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. VGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good, it's refreshing, and the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. Now, Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mama Mia, I'm afraid of something as terrible as it's going to happen to me soon. Because this morning I'm going to get the worst letter I've ever got since I'm in America. Is a letter from Immigration Service, and they write, they send a man down to see me. Mamma mia, maybe this man is going to look at me and say, Basco's are here three years, he still don't look like an American, and send him back. <laughs> <laughs> and all the morning, I'm, I'm going to crazy trying to figure out why the immigration man is coming. First time I figured, maybe they're angry because of some stupid thing I'm done in my first year in America. Because once... I'm a so poor fella stuck in the middle of the street. All the cars that was running at him and it looked like he was going to be killed. So I'm rushed out and I'm pushing him back on the sidewalk. How am I supposed to know he was a traffic cop? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to never forget when I went to mail my first letter in the little box in the corner. All of a sudden the whole street is full of cops, trucks, people yelling and screaming. I'm a didn't know, but... I was uh, trying to put my letter into the fire alarm box. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mama Mia, I made lots of stupid mistakes in my first year in America. And, and now I'm afraid this immigration the fellas are going to bring me very bad news. And if that ain't the bad enough, here comes some more bad news. Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Oh, Pasquale, I'm, I'm in a terrible trouble. They're coming to see me 4 o'clock and... I'm afraid I'm all finished in America unless you talk to them tomorrow before they come for me today. I mean, today for it tomorrow. It's... All okay. right. Uh, now give me the Italian the translation. <laughs> That's funny. I was done. Look, look. The way you crippling the kings is English. Even the Blue Cross and Hospital plan can't help you. <laughs> uh, That's funny, please. Uh, read this letter, please. What? Well, let me see. Uh, 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 oh, it's bad. Uh, uh, it's terrible. Huh? Pasquale, what, what, what are you thinking? Luigi, Columbus found America, is that right? Well, it sure is. Looks like you're going to lose it again. <laughs> Pasquale, Pasquale, what are they going to do to me? And why? What, what, well, wait, what wait. Take easy, calm down, relax. 
<laughs> All the thing is, it's just a slate to me. Is that a banana nose on your face? <laughs> yeah, but what, what the Pasquale tell me? What it's the... a simple, Louis. I'm going to tell you. Immigration the department wants to find out how rich you got since she comes to America. Uh, how much money you get off the boat with? Nothing. And uh, how much you got in your pocket now? Nothing. I feel too bad. Yeah, but Pasquale, you know money don't mean nothing to me. Luigi, people who ain't got it never know the meaning of it. I got it, and all I can say is... Pasquale, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I've I'm, I'm got a little money in the bank, but why should immigration man care how much I'm got as long as I'm not going to bother nobody? Luigi, you ever hear of something called American Standard of Living? Sure. Well, with you, the standard of living don't stand. It lays down. <laughs> No, but when it please, it's not a joker because I'm I'm in a terrible trouble. Who's the joker? I'm just trying to break you the bad news, easy as I can. Bad news? Luigi, the awful truth is you've been living in America three years now, eating American food, wearing American clothes, breathing American air. But when it comes to making American dollars, you're back to Luigi the Greenhorn. <laughs> you, mean, you mean this inspectors are coming to ask me how much money I'm going to get? Not the money, Luigi. No, things. You know, Americans have got the highest standard of living in the world. And when the inspector comes in here, takes one look at all this old broken down furniture you got, right away he marks you A-W-O-L. A-W-O-L? <laughs> What's that? Alien without loot. <laughs> oh, Luigi, I can just see that immigration of fella comes in. He says, Bosco, we got the highest standard of living here. Every kitchen has got a refrigerator, washing machine, a garbage at disposal. Where's your electric toaster, Mr. Bosco? My, my electric toaster? Yeah, I could just hear you crying to him. Please, Mr. Inspector. I don't believe in electric. I always just toast to my bread between two candles. <laughs> and I got hardly enough to eat, so I got no garbage to disposal. No, no but sorry, this, this can't be. He, he's not going to ask. Luigi, the Americans are very proud of their high standard of living. And they don't mind taking immigrants into their melted pot, but you got to melt with the rest of the pot. <laughs> but, but sorry, I, I'm a try them. I'm going to night school. I'm, I'm going to try to learn. Luigi, just the look on your room. Three years in America, what do you got to show? Two used up library cards, red of feather in the window for the community chest, and a statue of Lincoln, Washington, and Jefferson that's older than they are. Yeah, but, 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 <laughs> look, look at the leaky old icebox you got in the kitchen. Tell the fella how you forgot to empty out the pan one night. The next morning you woke up a swimmer. I'm, I'm in a terrible trouble. Ain't, ain't, ain't there, there no way out for me? What? There's the one way out, the little cabbage put. <laughs> one way? With my help, immigration a fella could walk in at 4 p.m. tomorrow and find you with electric stove, electric refrigerator, toaster, coffee maker, electric everything. How? <laughs> Marry my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> Mama may act to the electric chair. <laughs> Don't be so funny. You know what that inspector's going to say when he walks into your electric kitchen and sees your wife or Rose for making your breakfast with all those electric things? Yeah, he's going to say, this fellow was a better off for taking the gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to my night school. Now, wait, you wait. You better listen to me. I'm the only one who can give you that high standard of living. You mean that's a heavy standard of a living. A goodbye. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it, Luigi. It's probably just a routine checkup. No, Luigi, I, I happen to know the true fact. The immigration service never comes to you unless you, you do something real bad. Well, there he goes, Smiley Olsen. <laughs> Stop worrying so much, Luigi. Maybe they're coming to you, well, because you won an award or something. No, sir, sure, I'm, I'm no one nothing. Well, uh, maybe you, you got the money coming to you, some refund, huh? No, I'm, I'm never given the money. <laughs> well, then maybe... No. Not... Stop, Luigi, you are fighting your own liar. <laughs> Quiet, fellas, Miss Foley. Good evening, class. Good evening, Miss Foley. Foley. We're a little late, so I won't bother calling your role today. Oh, good. And if the questions are a little hard today, consider that I am playing hooky. 
Why, Miss Pauline, that was very cute. Let's get on with the lesson. Mr. Basso, you have your hand raised? Hi, Miss Pauline, what's a high standard of living? Is that in our lesson today? No, but it's got to be in my store tomorrow. <laughs> what? Immigration officer, Miss Pauline, I mean the inspector, he's a coming... Four o'clock tomorrow to see if I'm got a high standard of a living. And if a scholar says I'm gonna have electric everything else, I'm gonna melt in the pot. What <laughs> oh, Luigi are you for shimmers? <laughs> you know, you wouldn't be happy unless you can meet that inspector wrapped in an electric blanket with an aerial sticking out of your head. <laughs> Mr. Basco, I think you're worrying needlessly about a high standard of living. They're probably coming to make a routine checkup. No, that they, they, they never do, Miss Boyle. Unless the alien does something that makes him deport. But I'm never did nothing like that. But that's right. But this little Wiener schnitzel takes Boy Scouts across the street. <laughs> ah, my Luigi. Like we say in the delicatessen business, life is a giant salami. And we got to live it one slice at a time. <laughs> I should say, please, please, no joke, huh? because I'm going to get us some money to buy this standard of living, and, and I'm going to get it to buy tomorrow. Sure, oh, I, I wish I could help you, Luigi, but uh, next week my life insurance money is due. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> and don't look at me, Luigi. If I miss one more payment on my television set, Gene Autry never rides again. <laughs> Look, Mr. Basco, if you're so determined to get such merchandise, you can get them on credit. There is your answer, Luigi. That's right, the installment plan. An install, installment plan? And what's <laughs> that? Well, Luigi, uh, that if you can't pay in one payment, you see, they break it up, and then you can't pay in 20 payments. <laughs> Stop that, Mr. Schultz. Oh, well, don't worry, Mr. Basco. After class, you can go to one of the department stores open Tuesday evening and buy on credit. Oh, thank you, Miss Fudding. I suggest what I'm going to do. And then when immigration managers see me, I'm going to say, don't worry about me. I'm a credit to America. Yes, sir. Are you interested in that refrigerator? Hi, is it beautiful? Yeah, <laughs> we have one that holds six cubic feet, another holds eight, and this one holds ten cubic feet. Please, I'm looking for a refrigerator that holds the food and not the feet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a live one tonight. <laughs> Please, Mr. Salzman, how much am I going to pay for this thing? This is a big one in here. Uh, Five hundred. Dollars, huh? Yes, yes. And that's going to include the little electric bulb that's inside, huh? <laughs> yes, we're throwing that in today. All right. All right. Here, let me show you. I like it. Now, look at the size of these ice cube trays. They'll hold all the ice you'll ever need. Oh, that's a good. I'm going to tell him my ice man he should have filled him up every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Sir, you fill the trays with water, and within ten minutes, they turn into ice. Oh, they... oh but that only sounds so good. Uh, for this refrigerator works with electric, so why you need the ice to keep it inside the cold? Sir, are you interested in this refrigerator? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a sure high standard of a living, huh? What? I mean... If you were to work in my house and, and you were to see this refrigerator, you would think I'm rich. Huh? Sir, you couldn't own a better box if you were one of the 400. Oh. 400 what? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Well, sir, what do you say? We have just a few left, and after that, the price goes up. Well, all right, I'm not going to take it. Sure. Sure. And, and please... Wrap up with a little bit about the stuff you have to the break. You have my solemn promise. Now, will there be anything else? Oh, sure. I'm, I'm an electric stove, an electric toaster, an electric coffee maker. Wonderful. One, well, before you go, don't forget to look at our dishwasher. Uh, why, he's a nice fellow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never learn. Sir, I suggest we take those items one at a time. Now, are you going to pay cash for this refrigerator? Oh, no, it's... Uh, uh, 
That is good. Good. That's good. It's wonderful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we can arrange the terms to suit your pocket. Now, how much are you ready to put down in cash? Well, uh, 20 cents. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're joking. Ah! <laughs> I'm a master. <laughs> Please, I'm, I'm like it to put nothing down and just to pay out because I'm going to need the 20 cents to put a cost in. Oh, well, have a seat at my desk, will you? Thank you. Good, good. Now then, let's fill out this credit card. The name and address? Uh, Luigi Bosca, 21 in North Hall Street. Uh-huh. Who mm -hmm. do you work for? I'm my own boss. Oh, I see. Business? Terribly. <laughs> what business are you in, sir? Oh, and six. Uh-huh. And what do you earn per week? Oh, well, uh, you worried if I'm going to have enough food to put in the fridge right there, huh? <laughs> now that you mention it, yes. <laughs> Mr. Basco, how much money do you earn per week? Well, uh, that uh, depends. What the week are you talking about? <laughs> well, let's just take a gamble and take last week, shall we? You picked the bad week. <laughs> That's the week I'm almost starved to death. <laughs> now, but do you have a bank account? Oh, sure. Well, how much are you worth? You mean, uh, with a 20 cents I'm got in the pocket? <laughs> yes, throw it in. How much are you worth? Dollar 20 cents. <laughs> Mr. Basco, I'm afraid your credit is not quite good enough. Are you afraid? But what, why not? Well, because you've got to have some money in the bank. Yeah, but if I'm got money in the bank, why am I need your credit? This one's not only alive, he's fighting. <laughs> Please help me, mister, because I'm going to get a high standard of bike tomorrow at 4 o'clock. I'm sorry, Mr. Basco, really. But Please, tell me, tell me what I should do to get to this refrigerator. Well, since you have no credit, you must buy for cash. But I'm going to no cash. Then get it. Where? In a bank. And they're going to lend me the cash? If you have credit. And how am I get this credit? By getting some cash. And if I'm a can't to get to the cash. Then you must buy on credit. Goodbye, Mr. Basco. Goodbye, Mr. Credit. <laughs> and for me, it's a goodbye, America. Before we return to life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that you'll find helpful on your job or when you're working around your home. When your work gets a little tiresome and you need a little boost, chew a refreshing stick of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. You see, having something good in your mouth to chew on sort of gives you a lift and helps keep you feeling satisfied. Then, too, the lively flavor of Wrigley's Spearmint freshens your mouth and helps keep your throat moist. So you just naturally feel better and you tackle your work with more enthusiasm. Try it and see for yourself. Enjoy chewing Wrigley Spearmint gum while you work. See how the smooth, good chewing helps make your work go smoother and easier. That's Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, I'm almost the one crazy this morning. I'm going to want the immigration man to send me back to Italy, so I'm running around to the pawn shops and loan companies to get a cash. But it was of no use. Loan companies don't give a cash without a security. Pawn shops want a security for the cash, and I'm stuck in between. No security and no cash. Well, I'm going to decide after all, I'm in America, I'm not going to do anything. So I'm going to write it down to the immigration department to stop with the man. Mamma mia, what for a big immigration building. I'm a think more people who work here than is come to America. Can I help you? Oh, yes, please. Please, Miss Lady, help me stay in America. Hmm? Just what is your problem? I'm not the got the high enough standard of living. Oh, well, there's nothing I can do about that. Mamma mia, I can see nothing is going to help me here. I'm going to have to go up to the higher ups up the stairs. Now, wait, you can't go in there. Oh, is it too late to stop now? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Mr. Basco, for the tenth time, I am not in charge of your case, and I do not have the time to search through all the files for your record. But uh, please, uh, Mr. Prentice, before an inspector is coming to my house, uh, holler out to everybody that Luigi Basco has got a high standard of a living. Quiet, Mr. Basco. Will you please go home and wait for the inspector? You're only wasting your time. I don't know where I'm going to get no places to go today. Please, Mr. Prentice, if you're too busy, maybe you're going to let me talk with your boss. That's impossible, Mr. Basco. Mr. Kennedy is the district director for the whole Chicago area, and he's too busy a man. Then maybe, maybe you just open up his door and yell in that the Basco's are getting his refrigerator next to week, and he shouldn't have worried. What? And I tell him if, he, if he's away to one more once, I'm going to have a much, so much electric stuff in my kitchen, I'm going to blow all of the fuses. Basco, <laughs> will you please go home? Not till I talk with the boss. Mr. Kennedy cannot see you. Do you understand? He can't see you. What's the matter? He's a forget his eyeglasses. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, I'm, 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 I didn't mean to start this so much trouble. Trouble? You've just about worn out my whole staff. Now, I suggest you go home and wait for the inspector, Mr. Basco. No, 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 please, Mr. Kennedy, don't send me back to Italy. Since I'm in America, I'm always acting like good citizen, and I'm always obey all of the laws. And my block is the biggest sign of post no bills. Believe me, I'm never posted my bills. I'm going to take them straight down to the gas company. <laughs> what? And a box in the coffee drops that says, Open this end. And it's, even if nobody is to watch me, I'm never once to try to open up at the other end. <laughs> and I'm going to watch everywhere how to be good American. All over, I'm going to read the big sign, don't neglect your 5,000 a mile checkup. Mr. Kennedy, I'm going to come. As soon as I'm going to finish working on my first 5,000 miles in America, I'm going to go in for that to check up. Really, Mr. Bass? And I'm even, I'm even a Mr. Prentice obey the radio. Once an answer, he says, send me 10 cereal box of taps. I'm so sorry for him, I'm going to send him the cereal, too. <laughs> Please, Mr. Kennedy, don't, don't send me back to Italy. Mr. Basco, calm yourself and listen to me. I don't know what the charges are against you, but I strongly advise you to go home and wait for the inspector. But I'm afraid... Please, look up on the record to see, see what I did wrong. Mr. Basco, will you do as I say? But if you don't want to help me, maybe you got a boss. Maybe you'd like President Truman's home telephone number. Oh, thank you. What's the number? Good day. <laughs> You finally showed up for 420. I suppose one of the things you learned in America is a lateness. Well, this gentleman learned early in this. He's been waiting for you for the last 30 minutes. Hello, Miss Basco. I'm Mr. Knox from the Immigration and Naturalization Service. <laughs> please, please, excuse me. I'm a sorry. I'm a letter, but If I was... you had a wrist to watch, you would have come on time. I was telling Mr. Knox I'm willing to improve your standard of living. If As only... a matter of fact, Mr. Basco, I was looking around your antique shop and... Uh... Please, Mr. Knox... Uh... Even though you don't see nothing, don't send me back to Italy. Believe me, I'm just as good Mr. as... Mr. Basso, do you read Don't die, everybody. Here comes my refrigerator. Refrigerator, shoot, shoot. What's this? I told you I had an idea before. You want to show the immigration people you got at a high standard of living? So I am giving it a lift. No, shoot, <laughs> listen. You don't bother to thank me. Just attach it before that nosy inspector gets here. Sure. Yeah, I got news for you. Huh? That's the nosy inspector. Yeah. <laughs> but the important thing is that we got... Ha! What, what did you just say? That's a him shirt. Oh, I was just passing by with my refrigerator, Luigi, and I thought I would drop in and have a bite with you. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I came down I here... I got it, I got it, I got it. I sneaked them out of the house. Look, Luigi, an electric toaster, no, no. a waffle maker, a coffee maker, no, but even an it. electric knife sharpener. Well, that'll come in handy for cutting our throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, that? Luigi, you can't speak. I know just how you feel. Yeah, but Harvard, listen. Who I... will be pulled the wool over that inspector's eyes? Schultz, sure. it was a marvelous idea you had to bring the stuff over for Luigi. You're a genius, Schultz. Schultz! Schultz, who is Schultz? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> this is an inspector. How do you do? I'm well, pleased to meet you. And I, I, I wish I was dead. <laughs> Just let me say that... Oh, let me see. Look what I brought you. No, no, no. no. My wife's electric eye, you know. No, no. Oh, 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 I don't I... I have to give Schultz credit for this whole wonderful idea. Oh, Schultz! Who oh, is Schultz? <laughs> Somebody quick find Schultz before I get a heart attack. 
Uh, well, I, I may be smart in school, but should you have a certain practical knack? Uh, yeah, but you don't know us and us. No, 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 no. What is the use? Let him talk, Louise. You no, let no, him no. talk. I'm sure. Already I got one foot back in Austria. <laughs> <laughs> Alternate, this is the inspector. Right, you and your horse, sir. Give me a kick, Oh, oh, This is all very entertaining, but will you please explain to me what's going on around here? Mr. Inspector, my friends, it was all a mess of good, but is everything my fault? They would bring all those things from their house, so, so I should look like I'm got a high standard of 11. And, and then if I'm got a high standard of 11, you... You shouldn't have sent me back to Italy. Mr. Basco, my reason for coming here was to find out why you didn't register between January 1st and January 10th, as you're supposed to. Register? You know, all aliens are required to register every year until they become citizens. Sure, and, and this year I'm a forgotten. You'd better come down tomorrow morning and register, Mr. Basco, or you may get into a lot of trouble. Oh, sure, sure, Mr. Inspector. And then everything is going to be all right, huh? I, I mean, you're not going to depart to me, huh? Mr. Basso, the reason we're so lenient about your failure to register is that we made a check on you first. We uh, talked to your bank, your neighbors, and the people you do business with. Oh. It's true, you don't have the best financial account, but you couldn't have a better character account. Thank you. Your desire and promptness in getting an education is something we want all immigrants to take advantage of. And uh, I noticed on this old icebox a library card that has been receiving quite some use. Oh, that's, that's nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm like to read and learn. The friends you've made speak well of you. And your antique shop. The love you must have for this country couldn't be better shown. The uh, conception some people have of a high standard of living could use some change. And I think you could do it, Mr. Best. Well, uh, i better go now. Good day. Good day. Thank you. Thank you. Good day. Good day. Good day. Uh, Mr. Speck, I want to talk with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, now that everything has turned out so good, uh, what, what do we do with all this stuff? Hey. What are we going to do? What else? Plug in the toaster, plug in the waffle maker, plug in the coffee maker. You old man, how about you make some toast and waffles? Yeah, I'm yeah. I gonna plug in the refrigerator and make some ice cubes for the wife. Yeah, and, and it should say, well, what am I gonna do, huh? You, Luigi, you plug in the electric blanket and go to sleep. You have done enough for one day. <laughs> What looked like the worst day of my life was it turned out to be the best. And I'm just living for that big day when I'm going to register every year with the Americans. Mamma mia, my proudest day is going to come when I'm going to walk in at a voting booth. I'm going to close up with the shower curtains and I vote for everybody on the ballot. Sandra, Jibasco, Lil Immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that it's a good idea to carry a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum with you wherever you go. Chew a stick when you want to freshen your taste or sweeten your breath. Chew a stick when you feel a little tense or jittery. The smooth, pleasant chewing will help you relax and feel more contented. You'll find times every day when Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum can help you feel better and get more enjoyment out of your work and other things you do. So make it a regular custom to carry a package of refreshing, delicious, Wrigley Spearmint Gum with you wherever you go. Just tuck it into your purse or pocket, and you're always set for some helpful, enjoyable chewing. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. 
The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Schiff as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. The music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. This is Charles Lyon. This is the CBS Radio Network. Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere playing at luckylandslots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Wings are here. Oh, from No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeye's now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand-battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're $5.99 for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary.